do you need to know now from Michelle Tafoya? Michelle. Well, Al, Sean Payton flew back with the team from Tampa last Sunday and immediately checked into the hospital where he had surgery at 7 a.m. Monday morning, a three-hour procedure to repair that torn meniscus and fractured tibia. Now, he wasn't able to return to work until Wednesday night, and he won't be able to put weight on that left leg for eight weeks. So tonight, he'll be coaching from the coach's box. Bothered by a hamstring, limited in practice this week. And he gets the start, and the play fake on first down and going deep downfield it is incomplete just getting a hand on it into the right position Peyton on the field the play clock is down to four uh -oh. and Painter isn't ready for the snap and the Saints get the first early break there's a flag down as Painter as the play clock illegal shift offense on the slot back penalty is declined the runner gave himself up when he recovered the ball. He landed on the ball. Sean Payton upstairs, first 15 plays scripted. And play number three is a pass to the left side. And changing personnel. Now they go to Thomas in the backfield. Breeze with a lot of time to the end zone. He goes, and it's a touchdown. Called in by Marcus Colston. Swamp Bethe, the Mecca, the real HU, Howard University. Drive powers, all of them. Freeney out for the moment, second down and 10. Breeze very well aware of that, sets up a screen to the left side. Thomas, and Thomas gets by Bethe. He whiffs, and then he chases him down from behind and saves the touchdown. Second and goal, and Breeze to the end zone, and that is caught for a touchdown by Colston. Marcus Colston with both tonight. Delon Carter, fourth round draft pick from Syracuse in the backfield, and the pass goes to Reggie Wayne. Painter saw a blitz look out of the Saints. The Saints check out of and go zone. Here's Carter. Nice run by Carter. This place is a little crazy for the no huddle and the young quarterback right now. Agreed. Very surprising the way they came out. Oh, Carter. And he gets taken down. That and ball the ball is out. loose. The ball is loose. Confirmed. Tom Johnson's just going to come across the formation and get his arm on the ball. Not sure exactly what Delon Carter. Haven't even made it through their scripted first 15 plays. Oh. Strolls. Wow. And that's a first down. All I've ever seen in my whole life in a Super Bowl. Second and nine. Breeze. Clean pocket. Knock that right shoulder out. That's another one of those variations off the bootleg there for the Saints that they love. Now they want a slant. And that is caught. Second up goal. As Breeze again has time and throws. And that's caught by Strolls for a touchdown. A little juke move at the goal line, and in he goes. And Drew Brees has thrown three touchdown passes in a little bit more than 14 minutes. Play clock, or the game clock in the quarter, ticking down to zero. This will be the end of the period as Reggie Wayne. I don't think they have to worry about it. <laughs> Donald Brown is in the backfield on third down and five, and Painter is going to get sacked. Casillas is there. Smith is there as well. And that's one of the most venerable streaks in NFL history. And the pass is caught. And that's Moore spinning away. Looked like he was going to go out of bounds. Fake Kevin Thomas. Make his move while he's catching the ball. He sees him, but he's anticipating. Second and five. Full house backfield. And Breeze finds the open man. And this time it's Meacham. Breeze throws. That's caught by Jimmy Graham, the tight end. Second and goal. Ingram is the back. And they give it to the up back. That's Jed Collins, a much traveled free agent pickup. And now they're going to say that he gets in. Looked like they had him stop. But as they unpile. And they're on pace to give up 125 points in the first quarter of games and of course tonight they pitch a shutout so as you say go figure.
And there's the big thing that's talked about in town here. They've only forced four turnovers in six games. But uh, two tonight. On top of that, and the pass. Sproles. To the 26. And Sproles. 30th play of the night run by the Saints. It's their first third down. On third and seven, and they convert. That's Graham. And the tight end takes the ball to the 39 of Indianapolis. Second down and 11. Pierre Thomas out of the backfield. I'm getting abused here, and his mom said, sorry, honey, I can't do anything for you. And hung up the phone. Threw up in a broken home from birth. Third down goal. And Breeze has that one deflected. Casey's at back to school night. He has four kids in Charlotte. Cell phone rings. We need you. Here he is. I don't know if anybody really believed it or not. I'm starting to believe it now. Carter. Yeah, that's a good tough running there. And the Carter, is he out of bounds yet or not? Never stepped out. Ball at the 34 now on second and six. And that's Garcon spinning away from a tackle. Garcon and very little Reggie Wayne. From the 19. You know it's killing him to see his numbers drop off like this. Playing in his hometown, second and two. Meanwhile, on second down and goal with two minutes, the ball is handed off to Carter, and he gets into the end zone. So Carter sets up the touchdown with that 42-yard. I just sit right there and say, this is working out all right. A new paradigm, as you would say. There you go. Third and eight. Here's Sproles. Looks smaller than Jimmy Graham, and they're two best playmakers. And that's caught by Colston. They had a night for the ages in the 08 wild card game. When Go on with it. What am I going to do better than what you're doing? Second and one. And Breeze and wide open is Colston over the middle. And Colston has already been into the end zone a couple of times tonight. 267 through the air for Breeze. 39 on that last one. 25 seconds left. And Sproles and he can't get out of the backfield this time. Brees throws a lot of passes to guys behind the line of scrimmage, as is the case there. This will be a 47-yard attempt for Casey. And the oldest player in the league at 41. Looks like he's 21 as he boots that one through. And the Saints have a near perfect first half. Colston had that shoulder issue that cost him a couple of games earlier in the season. And now it's caught by Graham and Jimmy Graham. Receivers list today, and Jimmy Graham may be chasing him one day. Second and six. That's caught on the outside by Thomas. And Drew Brees to get it out of his hand as they spread it out. Fake. Give it to Sproles. By doing that, it makes it so much tougher on the defense. And second and six. Colson, big, big, big night for number 12 to the four-yard line. He goes. First and goal. Breeze trying to go up and over 300, and Graham helps him out by making the catch and getting into the end zone. Jimmy Graham picks up the low throw, and why not? Slam dunk. In Philly. Yeah, Washington's doing everybody in that division a favor, backing up the last couple of weeks. That one's going to probably go right down to the wire. Here's Ingram. And to the right side, we'll add a few more here. He sends down concepts like concepts. Tom Moore did for years with Peyton Manning. Suggestions. Yeah. And that's caught by Colston. And he is. Believe me, the happiest guy in the building right now is Sean Payton. Although the guys in the locker room are going to be talking about a. And toss to the outside. And that is Sproles taking it. So it goes into the rushing numbers for Sproles and not the passing numbers for Breeze. And Breeze to Graham for the jump ball and the touchdown. Two touchdowns tonight for the tight end, Graham. Making the plays on the field. This year he is, and is making a big difference on the defense. Top pick out of Florida State last year. And then that's incomplete. Never had possession, did Austin Colley. And there are the numbers. Only four incomplete passes tonight. Five touchdowns. 
I, I really thought that was going to end up a perfect passer rating, but uh, came up just short. And here's Ingram. First down. And through the middle, Thomas. Because Cam Newton is changing that a little bit now, too. Sproles stays on his feet, gets to the end zone. Town sparkling on a Sunday night, and their football team is having a heck of a, a heck of an evening. Yeah. And it continues as the pass is picked off by Lee Torrance, and Lee Torrance is inside the 10. Touchdown! And they have already set a team record for most points. We we're going to tell you that before that even happened, and add on a few more. As the Colts uh, will end their streak this year of. Consecutive seasons and double digits and going to the playoffs. That's hosted the Super Bowl since then. The team has not even gotten to postseason play. Caught by Colley. Tony retired after the OA season and Orlowski. There was the head coach going through rehab with them. Used to be the refuge. Here is Pierre Thomas for a first down. Michelle. Well, if you need some uh, evidence, Your Honor. Safety's down to try and help against the run, setting up some one on one routes, and it's just not how this team was designed to play. There's 58 points that they gave up. That was the record until tonight. That's all the way back to 1956 when. Yep. Hard to point at anything except that guy right there, isn't it? Which player in the league is the most important to his team? Not the best player, not the MVP in the, of the league, but is Brady more valuable to New England than Manning is to Indianapolis and Breeze is to New Orleans? Well, again, I don't know that you can answer that definitively, but Peyton's value to the Colts cannot be overstated. 62 to 7. The Saints roll the Wendy's post game report coming up.